Hello, anybody, somebody, nobody, or may never see this. Zeke Free Dogs under Faust, the whiff. Come back at you with some more Warhammer 40k. Gonna be doing an incursion match against a newer player who hasn't played since 6th or 7th ish. Gonna be doing White Scars for his army. He's got a captain, some termies, and deep strike against my Harlequin bike spam. So, hopefully, this will be a shaky, chargy match. We'll see how this goes. So, this is gonna be more of a teaching game. So, starting off, we'll just go through uh, the rules just. As, as they go. So it's like battle size. Incursion. Step one, we did that. Muster armies. We have legal lists. We did that. And then we went through uh, deployment mission. I rolled the dice and we got Rise of Machine Spirit. So we'll be playing that. Read mission briefing. So the Rise of Machine Spirit, it's going to have a uh, little thing right here. They'll tell you what the mission does for what we're going to be doing. Uh, I'll just say sure tail. So uh, read that this is an extra extra way to get points and then there's an additional rule which is you cannot deep onto an objective so you need to I need to double check really quick that means the six inches are directly on within range of any objective markers yeah so it doesn't say the six inches uh, so I believe that's gonna be the yeah, just not directly on it. Um, okay. And then scroll back up. Uh, place objective markers. We're using TTS, so it's done for us automatically. It's pretty nice. There is one here as well, so be aware of that. In the center. Uh, create the battlefield. It's done. Determine uh, attacker and defender. So that was what we'll be, we'll be doing uh, now, which was the rolling the dice. And then choose deployment zones. And then secondary objectives, we have that done as well to earn more points. And then declare reserves and transports, we alternate. I didn't have anything to declare, so it was all you. And we started deploying and we alternated. Uh, and then from there, it's going to go into determine first turn, so big dice roll time. Alright, let's do it. I have a two, you have a four, so you will be going first. So I'll toggle this over to you. I'll hit start. We'll both gain the CP, and then resolve any pre-battle abilities. I have one. At the start of the uh, first battle round, I have to declare how many uh, luck dice. Ooh, luck dice! I want to attempt a roll. There we go. That's what I want to copy. Um, I will attempt to roll for three luck dice. Ooh, I got doubles. These are basically free rerolls. But doubles are bad, so I don't get my little free bonus this round. Uh, and okay. then we begin the battle. And so you're going first, so it's going to be the Devastator Doctrine for you. You do any pre-battle stuff along with your command phase and keep going. Alright, I don't think I have anything in my command phase. I'm, I'm pretty standard here, so let's... Go you will eventually? Move. No, he's not a chapter master. Okay, so this won't be command phase. Will just be any stratagems. So, if you use so one of your secondaries, mate, is uh, raise the banners high. So since you chose that, you don't have to do it, but it gets you more points. If you do it, that uh, group that's doing it, the unit that's performing that action, cannot shoot, fight, or charge, etc. So, be aware if you want to try to do that secondary to score points, you're also going to be taking them out, kind of. Out of combat proportions. Okay. For that uh, turn. And then you need to be within 18 inches of me, otherwise, one through threes will miss. And furthermore. While core models or characters are within six inches of my Shadow Seer, you get minus one to the wound roll. Ooh, that's they, rough. They all are, so they're going to be minus one to wound. I think you have... Mm, oh, well, they don't even have bolters. Uh, well, the guys that have bolters, they're going to be wounding them on five ups. And I have... All my guys have a four up invul or better. So AP doesn't affect me. Alright, so... Go to the psychic phase... I'm a normie, I don't have psychic abilities. Yep. Schusting time. So you you didn't want to move any of these guys? 
Um, you don't have to, but also, if you're trying to do the action for raise banners, if they're not going to do anything else, that has to be done at the end of the movement. So you would just declare in your movement phase who is doing that. Okay, well, at the movement phase, I'll have the guys at the bottom. So the blue guys? Raise my banner. Okay. Yeah, the blue guys will be raising the banner. Yep. I'll just put that right over here. Yep. Banner. Now we'll have... Let's see here. How far away are we from you? I can fire into this spot. So, I'm going to fire. With who? Oh, oh no, stop pressing the button. I just, don't, don't, just don't press it. I need to press the button. Okay, so, who, the greens, because you can see them as greens, right? Yes, the greens. So, you, your green greens, take my greens, firing. into my greens, right? Correct. Okay, and then, uh, is it, are they shooting everything? Yes, so first that would be four bolters at rapid fire. Okay, you also need to clear okay. the profiles. So the missile launcher, what profile would we be using for that? The frag or crack? We'll be using the frag profile for that. Okay. So that's eight. This is for the bolters. Yep. So one through threes will fail because you're 18 inches away or more. Okay, so those fails. You can't do any rerolls, and now you'll try to hit them as well. And they're minus one to wound, so five ups. Because they are core. No wounds, which is insane. Okay. And then you're going to do your frag. Yep. That is... What heavy D6, so... So two shots. Two. Probably should have gone for the crack missile, huh? Uh, I disagree. Yeah. You could have gone maybe one... That would have been maybe one kill, but this has the potential to be technically two kills. Alright, no wounds. Nope. You guys are completely free. Okay, and then is that it for your shooting phase? That's it for my shooting phase. Okay. And that should actually do it for my turn. I can't declare any charges, no fights. Yep, because I'm outside of 12 inches, so I can't even declare it. Alright. Uh, and then Rise of the Machine Spirit. At the end of each player's turn, if one or more units from that player's army successfully completed the inload uh, data psalm action during this turn, that player scores 1 VP. Um, so, again, that is doing that little action, and, where is this shit? So, did you advance with the reds? I did not advance with them. Okay, so, I'm gonna be a gamer, and even though it's a little late, because I was just going through the action. You could, I'll allow you, if you want to advance with them, you could advance, but then you're not able to charge. But if you want to go a bit closer, or if you want to go back with, uh, stop that. If you want to go back, what the fuck? If you're trying to go back with one dude, then since you didn't advance, you could just move this guy a little bit back and you can declare that you're going to do the mission action. Since they're not shooting or fighting anyway, that way you can get more points with that. Since they... Yeah, that's... Yeah. Didn't even think of that. That's perfect. Yeah. So, you. Yep, there you go. So you'll just move that one... So I didn't mean to grab your unit. That was just an example. So if you want to move a different dude, I just move this guy. Because he'll still be in coherency. You still need to have co coherency. Uh, which he will be, so that's fine. And you just need... You want to get them into combat, so you can either have them just on the tip inside, or like mega inside, up to you. Yeah, let's just put them a little inside there. Okay. A little foot inside. So you're going to declare that you're doing this, which is going to be data psalm. So 
data psalm, one or more units from your army can start to perform it in your movement, and then you must be in range of a different objective marker for each. Um, it complete at the end of your command phase, at the, end of, uh, at the end of your next command phase, provided the unit that was performing is still within range, and then, uh, unless it's obsec, uh, and that's, that's complete, and then you'll get, uh, three VP. So, if they're okay. still alive there, then you will get that. Uh, alright, so, Here's something. yep, command phase for me, I don't have any of my luck dice, uh, my Shadow Seer, um, I'm not in range of somebody to debuff him, uh, this would be in movement phase, so I'll just go to movement phase now. So my Solitaire, uh, does he feel like blitzing? really does feel like blitzing. I'll declare that my Solitaire is going to perform a blitz. And so by blitzing, he's going to go extra fast. He's going to think like an American footballer. And so once per battle, my movement phase, uh, if he does so, then until the end of turn, add 2d6 to his move characteristic and 2 to his attacks characteristic. So oh. I will roll those now, but I don't have to actually move him yet. Oh, actually, so when I... Move, I have to do that. Oh, okay, yeah, so I'll just hold on that because I just want to pull up stratagems real quick. Skyweavers. Uh, Harlequins. Yep, yep, yep. move first, uh, they'll declare that they will advance. So they just move 16 plus 6 and they can still do fun elf shit. So where do we, uh, let me toggle, da -da -da -da, measure movement, alright. Whee! Hmm, why can't I, yeah let me just turn that on now. Boom. Just have to be outside of one inch from you. Solitaire will do their blitz. So he moves 2 plus, sorry, 12. Ooh, no, bad roll. Uh, so he moves a total of 15. Very underwhelming. Not worried. Okay, he'll still get on the charge. Probably, honestly. I have a feeling. Yeah, hooked on a feeling. Okay. So I want to not go over that. Okay. Uh, let's see. These sky weavers are going to. Mm, the reds will advance. So they'll move their twenty-two.
Shadow Seer will advance. The mighty. What the fuck? Let's keep the one. I shouldn't have rolled two dice. That was weird. Uh, the mighty one. So she will move. She, he will move nine. That's fine. Hello. And my Sky Weavers will advance because they can. So. Oh yeah, I can go for Pelifar. Uh, this dude is going to be basically there. I don't have a bad feeling I'm about to get tabled this turn. Oh, uh, well, you have half your army in space, so we know that can't happen yet. I thought if I didn't have any units left on the board, I'd just lose if I had stuff in deep track. Nope. For old rules, not anymore. You will not auto lose. Oh, okay. Okay. So they are in coherency. Oh, uh. Let's give that guy a lookout, sir. There we go. Safe. Uh, guess we'll do it like this then. I can't deep strike anywhere on the board, huh? Uh, no, you can go uh, over here. You can maybe squeeze your captain in, in that corner or in this corner. That's basically it. Um, I want you to stay away from me. Uh, uh, all right, cool. So that is Schmoovin done. Uh, oh, God, I just got a message. Um, okay, so psychic time. Uh, the Shadow Seer's got two casts. Uh, It doesn't really matter right now. Uh, I'll attempt to smite your reds. I'll use my orc dice. Okay. They're smoten for a mighty one mortal wound. And then I will attempt to do Mirror of Minds for funsies. It goes off. Uh, we, we dice battle. And so... Uh, we then we'll just roll dice now. Uh, so we'll one to take d3 and then we dice battle. So they take another one. Cringe. Yep. And then now we dice battle up to six times. Yeah, you roll dice and I roll dice. Every time I win the roll off, they'll take another mortal wound. That's ridiculous. Okay, let's go. Okay. Two versus two. I don't win the roll off. It ends. Yay! See, it's not that bad. All I right. The lives. Uh, shooting. Uh, shooting is the super happy fun time. Uh, who is in range? I will spend my one CP Everyone. for Blade Storm. Uh. Each time they shoot with a shuriken weapon, I might find hit rolls of six, score an additional hit. Um, my... Let's see, who's in range? And I'll have my blues all shoot at your reds over here. So, uh, sixes are extra hits. There is five dudes, each with shuriken cannon three. So that's gonna be 15. So the sixes explode and they hit you on a three up. Ooh, okay, so these disappear. Well, they would, but 
I'm just going to keep those as exploding hits. So all those are the hits. And then would you want to 3 up because it's strength 6? Then actually, is this on the hit roll or the wound roll? That's uh, a wound roll. No, 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 for uh, Shuriken. It's been a minute. Uh, wound roll of six, yeah, okay. So these will go away. So uh, those 11 dice are going to be uh, minus one, I believe. Yep, which turns to zero because of armor of contempt. So those will just be three ups for your vanguards, these 11, and then one is going to be minus three, which is going to be a five up. Each one is two damage. Wait, so 11 and then one up, what? And then one, so these are going to be three ups, and then this is going to be a five up. Okay. Each one is two damage. In the box. Ooh, so that's gonna be two damage. And then you needed three, three ups. Yep, so that's not that bad. So three reds are narked. And then I will shoot with the Yeah. I'll shoot with the Shadow Seer. He'll do his. Actually, are they in range of the other gun? They are. Um, and then it's going to count me as not moving, correct? Yeah. Okay, so I could do either weapon. Uh, I'll do the hallucinogen grenade launcher. So, D3 shots. Six shots. Two ups. Okay. And then this is going to be. Yep, so I have two hits. 2d6 each. If I beat the leadership, it suffers one mortal wound. Do you still have the sergeant? You do. So the leadership is nine. So, first hit roll, I need 10 up. Nope. Second one. Nope. So, they don't take any mortals from that. Uh, the reds will shoot them as well. They're all in range. I just don't have the shuriken thing anymore. So, no exploding sixes, unfortunately. So eight three ups, please. Oh wait, wait, no, this is the wound roll. My apologies. Three three ups and five five ups. Glorious. Three three ups and five five ups. Yeah, because these are shuriken weapons, and so the shurikens on sixes become AP minus three, which your armor of contempt weakens to AP minus two, which goes three to five, because they're not on light cover. So you, you already just made two saves, right? I don't know. That's the squad. Whatever. Well, you made two threes before. So that, yeah, we can count this as being saved. And then, yeah, this would be four more dudes. Are you alright, man? No, yeah, no, I'm fine. I'm just getting absolutely trashed here. Let's leave the sergeant there. Maybe he can do something. And then the these sky weavers will uh, they'll play it safe, and then they will uh, shoot them as well. Jesus Christ. Uh, 
Oh, bad roll. Okay, so just one five up and six three ups, please. shooting charge phase I will declare a charge with my green sky weavers into these space marines all right do I get overwatch uh you have one CP you can choose to overwatch if you would like yes you only hit on sixes though well, the ruins are defensible, so I've hit on fives. Oh, true, yeah, actually. Um, but... No, yeah, you're not within... Yeah, so you'd hit on fives, yeah. If you'd like to declare that instead. Um, would you like to declare that for defensible? I mean, sure, I'll just go ahead and... Use a command point and use some overwatch, why not? Okay. So what profile is Let's the uh, missile launcher going to use? I'll be firing a crack missile. Okay. So that's... Eight bolter shots. Three hits. Take a wound. And then uh, one crack missile. Yes, deploy it's the crack. Wounds on twos, right? Yeah, uh, this would wound on twos, yes. Um, if you're further away, then it would not succeed, but it does, so it does wound me. So on a four up, I failed that roll for damage. So that's D6 damage. For two. But that will be enough to kill one bike. You've killed them all. Yay. And now I will uh, declare the charge. Well, I will attempt the charge. Eight. I am in, most definitely. So I just have to be Pretty sure. here. I'm going to move this. Yep. strike anything onto the board. You need to kill one at least one of my bikes, otherwise you're going to have a bad time. Uh, so, the only one that's in combat, going to fight phase, uh, it will do its four attacks. So it's going to be 2 at minus 2, which turns into minus 1. Uh, now is this building heavy cover? Nope. So you're just going to get the minus 1 from AOC. So on 4 ups. That's 2? Yes, sir. So one guy dies from the green squad. And then you get to slap back. Yay. 
You can pile in if you'd like. Alright, one, two. I mean, they're all in range, that one guy. Yeah, half inch. But again, you can't have them on top of them, so just. Yeah, have them on top of the building? No, 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 of each other. Whoa, whoa, you got, you got, you grabbed my guy. Okay. Oh, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. You're good. And then, yeah, so they can right. move, when you pile in, you can pile in closer, but if you move them to pile in, you must go closer. So this dude can't really get closer. This dude went further away, so he can go closer, but not further away. They have to be within 0.5 of uh, this guy. Or within one inch of this. Alright, so the attacks. How many attacks do I got? I got. Yeah, so you two, want. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, are, 8, 9. Are you trying to get them all in? To attack? Are they not all in? Uh, this guy is not. He's not within 0.5, and he's outside of an inch. So, you move this. You can move this guy like there, and then that'll allow. Oh God, this building is dumb. Why is this building dumb? Uh, we can just say this dude because the building's being fucking dumb. We can say you moved him right next to where that open spot is. You see it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, now they're in. And so you got charged, so you're gonna get plus one to your attacks. And then, what was the ones you said you had? You had Whirlwind Rage and... This Whirlwind Rage applies here. Okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9... Uh, and you'll be hitting on 4 ups. This is minus 1 in melee. Oh, but you get an extra hit because of that 6. Moving on four ups. Yes, sir. One, two, three, four, five wounds. Yep. He's going to be a black hole. And then it's going to be on my four up in bull. Ooh, I am rolling bad. You narc a bike. And then one more bike takes a wound. Not bad. Not bad. Okay. And that will be it for the fight phase. Uh, morale, I have lost two greens. I'm going to be at six, so I can't fail that, so that's fine. Uh, I don't have anything else for morale. Okay. Command phase, I can't really do much of anything. Movement phase. Uh, this should be Can you make... That's um, so hold on, whoa, whoa, so slow your horses. So, um, new round, so stuff has gained points. So, I haven't gotten any from Rising Machine Spirit. You're going to get the three from there, because I didn't shrug that squad off. Uh, we'll keep track of no, banner, uh, no prisoners later, so that will come into play that you'll be scoring points. Start of your command phase, you had banner, and I wasn't able to take you off it, because you had obsec. So, you're going to keep that banner. And then, I was able to kill more than you were for that round. So... I'm going to get grind. I didn't do any psychic interrogation because there wasn't a character for me to do that. Engage on all fronts. I'm not six inches away from each one, so I will not get that. And I didn't do Rise of Machine Spirit. I do, it is a new round, so I do need to declare if I'm going to do my luck dice. I will try three again. Ah, this time it succeeded. So I have three cheesy Eldar Girls. dice to use. And then you... we each gain a CP. I don't know why I wasn't doing it from before. Can you, um, this guy right here, expand this thing to nine inches to see if I can deep strike?
the captain could go in. Fit them all. No, you'd have to do declare combat squad before the game, so you can't split them now. So you have to drop the whole unit. So they're not able to. You can't deploy the terminators anywhere. So you could do the captain, and that's it. Are you sure they won't fit? Pretty sure. So I made some big mistakes. I left my solitaire unprotected. Um, he wasn't able to get a charge target. I could have had him in here, maybe, instead, and just done the action, or over here. Boy, I was trying to get greedy so for fun Is I could have done, or is my list just garbage? Um, so one, one K is, <laughs> don't be too hard on yourself. And we can call it here if you'd like, because I will just continue to deny you as much as I can, and just kind of maintain board control and points. But yeah, I shouldn't have deep shot. I don't think. Yeah, because I just, yeah. I just moved too fast. Or you'd have to kill at least a whole squad. Um, so you could maybe the three the greens lost some. So you could kill some of the greens, but then I could just re-expand with the blues and the reds. Um, I can even abandon this side of the board just to wipe out everything else, and then at the end of my turn, all you'll have is your captain and/or terminators, and that's it. Um, so. Yeah. Let's see, you're running, what, a patrol list, correct? Uh, yeah. Okay. Um, what do you have, where is he? What does your warlord have? Um, so he is in tourney armor. Um. So I would try and give him a jetpack, because... His rights of battle, everyone you have is going to be moving too fast for him to buff them because they're going to move away from him. So you want him probably to be able to move a bit faster and not deep strike him. So if you give him a jetpack, that gives him a lot more options because that's a 9 inch deep strike versus a 12 inch move. And incursion battles, which is this is what this is, a 1000 point, it's a smaller board than strike force. So I would try and finicky points to give him. Um, a jetpack, I think that'd be really big. Um, Terminators are really strong if you have them on light cover, because uh, they would just have their. If I had them on the board, they would have been really strong. No, yeah. Um, <laughs> but yeah, they would have been really annoying to try to shirk off. Because even if I got sixes on my shuriken, that'd go down to uh, AP two out of three, and then you're in light cover. So that'd be going down to AP1, so they'll just be saving on 3-ups. And against all my regular shooting for my entire list, they just save on 2s. Um, so that'd be very upsetting. That, and they have Storm Bolters, and Storm Bolters are very good against Harlequins, because you actually want a volume of fire. You don't want heavy fire, you want a lot of shitty fire. So, that would be very good against this list. But you didn't deploy them. It would be a risky move if you were able to deep them in the middle somewhere. That would have been very spooky. The Vanguard Veterans, I think that was the only bad play. Um, I would have f had you, if I was you, I would have forced me, because I have a bunch of go fast stuff, to come closer to you, which I'm gonna, and I'm gonna get some damage in. But then that way, these dudes, if they're just all on the roof, which this map was being dumb, I apologize, this is my first time using this one. Um, that way, which we can. But in 40k rules, you can declare for the wobbly model rule that they're up there, and we know they're up there, even if it's being dumb. That, since they have a 12-inch move, and they ignore verticality, that gets you across half the board almost. And so you'd be able to go anywhere like here, and then still charge afterwards. And so that so would... actually have kept them back in the building, and then yeah, come out. Because that would give you light cover, so again... Even though they have a 3-up save, my regular shooting is just minus 1, which your armor contempt reduces it to 0, then light cover will give you a 2-up save. So they'll be able to survive a lot more damage coming their way, and I would have had a big problem. Oh, wait! What the fuck? Well, they have Storm Shield, so Storm Shield doesn't work with armor contempt, um, but that way you don't need... still decent. No, yeah, it is. So that way you don't have to let them uh, be hiding out somewhere else. Uh, I definitely think it is my advice for your list, my guy, would be not in the spirit of White Scars, because White Scars go fast, 
it would actually be a patient hunter and let your opponent come to you because these dudes, again, they're tankier than they look along with your termies and you have charge bonuses so you need to guarantee you survive to get that charge. So play defensively, play, play like a wussy, make, get this terrain bonus in your advantage so you can strike me back for far more damage than I dealt to you. Hell, you, I lost two bikes that I really didn't expect. I didn't expect to lose one in the, uh, in the Overwatch. I was a little surprised. So I definitely think if you played a bit safer, like I know you want to come at me, but just let me come to you, and then you'll make me pe suffer for it. And then even if even if I don't come to you, I'm like, oh well, he wants me to get closer so he can charge me, and I like don't I pull my stuff back. Well, guess what? You you suddenly have deep strike potential now. You now you can actually put your stuff back on the board. So you're gonna force me to choose to either a deny you, and you'll punish me for it, or B, I don't deny you, and you punish me anyway. So at least you get something out of it versus nothing, because I was able to fully take them out and push up across the board. And that's against a go fast army. Not this is one of the faster armies for movement in the game, if not the fastest. So that's just what makes them a bit stronger in 1K, because some armies will fall out from 1K to 2K. There's big point differences. So. This may not be how White Scars perform in a 2K, so don't let that go to your head that they're going to be bad in 2K. I think they're quite nutty in 2K, and they're undervalued. Yeah, I just like the idea of having the extra damage, really. Yeah, this is, ignore the Ultramarines, this is my White Scars 2K list for when I do White Scars. So just many Van Vets, <laughs> and then more Flyboys. Infiltrators, Gossams. Which I love the Infiltrators because, again, with AOC and Light Cover, they have a 2-up. They can make one damage attack go away, and they prevent your opponent from deeping uh, 12 inches within them. And so, you just fan these dudes out across the board, and within a, a just Wait, a 2 you run Assault Squads? Huh? Yeah. Because, 12 inch movement. And then I just wait as a patient hunter for people to move up. Okay. And well, then... You're on your uh, I run also... I run Born Heroes in World of Rage for them. Because I'm betting on making that charge. Because if you don't plan to get the charge and you're, let your opponent charge you, then you shouldn't play White Scars. You should play fucking Space Wolves. Because Space Wolves Blood are... Blood Angels. Or, well, Blood Angels also the charge, yeah. Space Wolves are the difference between the two. White Scars are weaker Blood Angels, but they should be able to get across the board better. Um, Blood Angels... If they lose the Sanguinary Guard, they lose. If you if I lose two squads of the Vanguard Vets for White... Uh, white bleh. White Scars, it's not as bad as the Blood Angels losing their Sanguinis. They really need their Sanguinis. Um, and then Space Wolves are not as good getting into combat, but once they're in combat, they're better than both of those other armies because you can get a lot of fight on death stuff and advantages once it's round three. This is better before round three. And then if it goes into round three, you know, no worries. But it's a bit tankier than Blood Angels because of the... Uh, the storm shields, if you choose to run them. Yeah, I see you've got bolt pistols on your guys. Uh, yeah, so that way, even if they get, I mean, they should get close, which means I'll get the bolt pistols, and then uh, they have power swords, so they should be able to uh, be able to lay in some additional damage. Um. Where is this shit? Thanks for playing this game with me, helping me out, learn some new stuff. No worries. I run a, a YouTube channel where I review 40k armies. I have every single army, and I've played every single army in the game since I started um, a couple months ago, slash year ago. And I, I started with Knockman 9th Edition, which was 500 points, and then I worked into Incursion, and then I worked my way into con into 2k Strike Force. So I'd say just do some more Incursion games. Rework your list, do a lot of war game theory crafting of what could be better. I mean, you have to think about what your uh, your opponents can maybe run, what you can run, if it uh, helps your play style, if you want to go successor chapter or not. Um, because Incursion 
is faster, it makes it a bit harder, again, for the people that benefit from Assault Doctrine, because the game naturally snowballs from losses and attrition, and it's going to take you longer, and for points gained. If, like, if you don't fight me, because you want to get your bonuses before we fight, half the game will be over already, and I'll just be scoring points if you're just hanging out back here. And so, it gets yeah. much harder for the melee armies. Um, no worries, is there any other questions about any other armies, etc.? Um, really I want to start getting into Space Marines, and I was wondering if there are any good shooting armies, like Ultramarines or Iron Hands, like what their lists look like. Oh, yes, sir. Um, so, not counting Grey Knights, here's my Iron Hands, which out of all 50 armies in the game I have, uh, Iron Hands is the most aggressive. Um... Salamanders are not far behind them. And I can't find some of the models in the correct color shade, so just ignore it if they're not the right color. Um, yeah. Just what six armies? Just the other one after this. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Um. Uh, sure. So here's six Space Marine armies. So Iron Hands. Uh, actually, let's go backwards. So, uh, Death Watch. Death Watch has people from every faction. And they, when you play it, they're more the more, more complicated, so I would actually recommend you don't play them. Um, but something that's nice is they have mixed uh, units of different guys, and you can choose, uh, when you start the game, different roles that you will have an advantage on free rerolls against types of opponents. So if my list is uh, an outrider. You see I have a lot of bikes here, right? Well, if you fight a 2k version of this, you can just choose, okay, I'll choose fast attacks. So, your half my army is fast attacks. Whenever you shoot fast attacks, you basically act as if all your guys are going to be like in aura ranges, getting buffs against fast attacks. Or, you can even choose to have a bonus just against Eldar. And so, they can be very Xeno, anti-Xeno specific, or against certain battlefield roles. But, they can have every other space marine faction a bonus so you need to know everyone to play them really well this is deathwing dark angels deathwing dark angel terminator spam these boys are nutty because they have because of inner circle slash deathwing they have permanent transhuman which means uh wound rules of three up never work against them so if i hit you with meltas plasma cannons uh, power swords, anything that's a wound roll of a 2 or a 3 disappears, doesn't help. And all the relics have lightning claws, which gives them an extra attack each. So all the relic terminators go to 4 attacks, and then when they're charged, or they do charge, shock assault, they get another attack. So each model is actually 5 attacks, re-rolling the wound roll, and they can get plus 1 to hit, re-roll hits as well, because of chapter master and stuff. What type of Terminators would you take on them? The Relic Terminators? Like These are the relics instead of the actual them? Deathwing, because the Deathwing Terminators can do the exact same thing, but they're just slightly more expensive. So this is just the exact same thing, but cheaper. So three 10-man squads of relics, in which you can combat patrol split them as well in the beginning of the game. And then one thing of Knights, in case you got to bonk something that's really strong, because they get times two strength, so they go to strength nine. Sorry, strength eight, and you can buff them to get to strength nine. So they can wound, oh, okay. like, tanks on a 3-up, which is funny. Um, nice. This is Ultramarines. Ultramarines. And Gilliman is going to give all these dudes a reroll all their hit roll, which is good for the Devastators because um, the Devastators are going to go to a 2-up a as long as they have their Sergeant, which the thing is, though, is you can just narc the Sergeant if you need to save them, the big guys with the multi-meltas. And as long as Gilliman's nearby them, they'll still hit on... Uh, 
they can even move, and they'll hit on a four up, but they get to reroll all hits. So he helps the Devastators um, do a lot of damage still. Uh, infiltrators, so you don't get deep striked. Um, Victrix, so they could fan out and just be a meat shield for Gilliman and the multi multi spam. And then any Imperial list where I can get a Caladus, I'd run a Caladus because Caladus is cringe good. Um, this is Raven Guard. Raven Guard is <laughs> kind of bad, but you can meme. So there's three Eliminators squads, and Eliminators can get some bonuses for shooting against characters. So when you shoot a character, um, I think it's plus one to hit and plus one to wound. I think. Hold on. Uh, where is this shit? Uh, Raven Guard. Chapter Tactics. Dun -dun 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 -dun. Uh, you can add one to the hit and wound roll. Yeah. And they can ignore Lookout Cert. So if your opponent puts any character model into play that you can see, you can just use these nine eliminators to just bibbity bonk it off the board turn one. And then turn two, and then round three. Just They actually, it's the only squad that has snipers. But if your opponent has a char has no character visible, or it's in deep strike, or it's a, um, it's a vehicle character that's tough, then, you know, it doesn't really help you. So they're a bit of a if you want to play. And they're, but they get defensive bonuses as well, so your opponent can't really shoot you off the board round one because you'll get dents and stuff. Um, Salamanders, uh, they have Tornado Spam because they get bonuses to their Devastator Doctrine for round one, them and Iron Hands. And so you're going to do even more AP, so you'll be doing AP5 against a Chaos and Imperium army that goes back to AP4. But against regular Space Marines, that means if they're on light cover, they'll save on sixes. If they don't have light cover, then they die. Uh, nice. And because it's 16 movement and multi melt is 24 inch range, that means if anything is within range of 28 inches from where you start, which shit will be, you get plus two to your damage. So you'll do automatically three to nine damage with a multi melt shot from the tornadoes. So they are very pun and they fly, so they can do all kinds of stupid shit. And then the aggressors back here, um, this is a lie. They each have two Firestorm Gauntlets um, for their shooting. So each five-man squad is actually 10d6 for its shooting, and it's a flamer, which means it auto-hits. So that's 10d6s, they all hit, and then it's just whatever they wound. Um, and there's ways to buff it as well. And then Iron Hands. Uh, Iron Hands, I killed about a thousand points of knights uh, in turn one last time I played them. I placed against an Imperial Knights army. And this is nutty because Drop Pods is the only army I think in the game I run with Drop Pods um, because you can deep strike them turn one. <laughs> and so if I get to go before you get to go and I play Iron Hands, that means I can put my guys with the multi meltas uh, 9.1 away from you, which multi meltas 24 inch. Half range, extra damage. That's 12 inches. I'm 9.1 to 12. So that means I'm going to do 3 damage per hit. That's going to also hit for the Devastator Doctrine. They reroll the hit roll. And uh, they get what? Uh, the Lieutenant will be nearby to reroll the wound roll of 1. So they're just going to be doing a lot of damage. And then the Fire Raptor gunships, because you get a Devastator bonus, they get the reroll the hit rolls automatically. And as long as you don't face a super tanky army, Space Marines are weaker, they're pretty nutty. Because each one does 24 quad heavy bolter shots, 10 twin Avenger uh, bolt cannon shots, and 4 twin LAS cannon shots each. And because they're flying, they're minus 1 to, to hit, so you just put them at the end of the board where your opponent probably can't hit them. And then, oh, is it my turn? Whee! You just fly them across the board with their 45-inch move. And if your opponent's trying to hide stuff, then maybe... And again, if your opponent's hiding stuff against this army, then, uh, okay, I don't deep my guys. Because they don't have a target, I won't put them out there. It's fine by me. And then try hiding from this, though. So you're going to always be able to hit your opponent. Here's... Um, these armies if you want to save any of them and I can link you my YouTube if you'd like so you can grab their battle scribe sheets yeah. 
Yeah, why don't you go ahead and do that? Just in the chat. Sure. And so I do try to build good armies, and I was providing some tips. Um, I didn't think about, honestly, about how fast I could move across the board, and I didn't think about how bad it, the deny could be. Otherwise, I would have told you to put your Terminators in. Uh, probably just put your entire army in. Uh, let's see. There you go. Now, I am going to do a big channel update soon, because a lot of these armies aren't actually completely updated on Battlescribe. I'm going to throw it on there tonight. Oh, you know what? I'll do it right now. But um, my channel has review videos again for all these armies, but they're not updated necessarily. So those videos are not necessarily updated, but these are the current Yellowscribe ones, and I will have the other ones on the Google Drive shortly, which has all the uh, battle scrap information. Uh, I will also end the string here.